today is three days later we had to wait this much because the last couple of days we had uh, temperatures that were a little bit lower than what the plants we have like and we have some flowers and some veggies that they they like to uh, have a lot of heat you can re really damage them if it, the temperature is too low so we had a couple nights that they were up to maybe 37 36 degrees fahrenheit and so i kept them indoors in my house let me show you guys so over here i have the tomatoes cucumbers peas more tomatoes there in the back and then over, over here i have on my counter some flower zinnias there are some tomatoes cucumbers peppers strawberry uh chamomile and this one over here thinks a tomato but i'm not sure and some basil over there and onions we could plant the onions the other day but we just didn't have time i'm gonna take this uh, flowers and veggies outside and we plan we want to plant all of them today because the temperatures are not going to be lower than 40 degrees and so they're probably going to be fine and not going to die anymore no frost or any uh, serious damage to them and i have way too much over here it's filling up all my counters and the floor as well and i forgot to show you that i have other little plants here i have the sunflowers i think this is an eggplant and i have some peppers over there and some uh, chives and celery over there so that's what we're gonna plan for today we have the flowers of those are zinnias we are going to put them over here last year we had beautiful flowers here but we had the snow in texas and they killed everything though they're supposed to uh to grow every year well, whatever we got uh, they survive but they don't survive to the snow so we plan to put this over here you have to clean up and and then put it out there and then over there in the garden we are going to plant more veggies i just uh, i wrote it down what i wanted to be the companions for the plants and so this is very simple what i wrote over here and so over here those are the plants i got seeds i bought the seeds and i planted myself and those over there are some a few plants we bought and we're gonna go go ahead we have this much over here space to plant and a little bit there and a little bit there and we're trying to save space but um, wisely planting them in where they're supposed to be and i had to to write in the paper to make sure that I'm not putting plants near each other they they don't like each other because plants they are like that some plants don't like another kind of plant because of the nutrients they have and so i had to write it down what plants need to be near each other so they like each other and they will be happy <laughs> so let's go very quickly i'm gonna show you guys what we already planted just so you have an idea what, what we have in the garden so far